Hi, beautiful collective. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you guys so much for being here. We've been getting a lot of information today, so I'm going to give your person a chance to say what they want to say. Interesting fact, when I was doing the pre-shuffle, um, <laughs> the spell work card came out. If it comes out again, I'll read it. But this person is saying a spell or is saying a prayer to unravel the truth. I'm letting go of my old ways and leaving toxic people and situations behind. I want a better life for myself. I know that you miss me and that you want to talk to me, but I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. I'm so sorry. I am fantasizing about you. You still take my breath away and you're the only one who can turn me on like that. I didn't see the truth about this connection for a long time. I was blindfolded and now I finally realize it was you. It was always you. You are the one. True love is the most powerful magic of all. I know in my heart that our love will conquer any storm. Whatever you are hearing or seeing on social media, know that it's all a facade. I'm hiding how unhappy I really am. My shadows are kicking my ass. They're getting their karma. I had to lose you to start loving me. It is just so complicated right now. But I just can't stop loving you. I'm in pain right now, and I miss you, but I need time to heal. I have loved you since the moment I first saw you. You are so beautiful. You are all I ever wanted. I've been getting counseling to open up my emotions. I'm really trying hard so that one day I can be there for you. I ended it because... I had other things going on that needed my attention. Other people in the past have used and abused me and that's why I'm careful now and keeping my distance. I ran away from you and this connection because it was just too intense and I couldn't handle how I was feeling at the time. I was just not ready for a love so great. I'm really afraid that you don't love me the way that I love you. I've been looking you up on social media because I want to know if you're doing well. I'm looking out for you. I'm silent because my life is one big mess at the moment and I don't want to burden you or drag you down with me. I need to fix this first. I'm awakening to the spiritual connection. Everything is starting to make sense. I feel relieved and also excited for what is yet to come. I want to talk to you again and make things right between us, but I'm afraid you'll reject me. I'm longing to hold you again. And when I finally do, I never want to let you go ever again. You are my forever. Confess, karmic. What's going on with the karmic? <laughs> that came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Mind your own business. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> I have a lot of baggage that I'm not ready to talk about. I had a spell on him and it backfired. Sex is all he has to offer. 
I challenge him to become a better person. We argue a lot. Things aren't as great as they seem. I talk negative about you because I'm jealous. Mind your own business. <laughs> He's not the same person he was at the beginning. I'm the one dealing with his bullshit in your place. That's why the karmic feels that it's an unfair judgment. Why is it unfair? They signed up for it. I seduced him to make him forget about you, but they're doing spell work on him and it backfired. And now they're angry what they got, what they got. You need to back off your energy from him. It's sabotaging what we have going on. I want to sabotage what you two have because that is special. I do not have passionate feelings for him like you do. He's been very quiet with me. I wonder why. Even the karmic thinks that this person deserves better than the karmic. But they have this masculine doing unhealthy things to ruin him for you or switch it around if it's the other way. They know it's not going to last. I can tell he's unhappy here with me. I am part of a love triangle. Trying to avoid their ex by hanging out with your person. And I think that they're falling in love with their someone they knew. And the the karmic is saying, I know that that you exist in his life. Oh my god. What's going on here, spirit? Heavy burdens. Hiding. This person. They think that the ship has sailed. That you're celebrating. That you're getting finances. And this person is still looking out for you. They're still... A protective energy around this person even though your the ship may have sailed sneaky ass energy this this feminine energy here see is a snake deceptive They've got this, see, the, this karmic was in the book doing spell work on this masculine, but it has backfired. I don't know how it's affected, but this person oh. yeah, they've been doing spell work. But it's backfiring. It's making this person long for you more. Hmm. Someone's just very young and immature. They could be using a child. This person wants to return to you. Sees you as home. This one. The energy. So your person is saying prayers to unravel the truth. 
the karmic's doing spell work on the masculine, which is backfired. If they did spell work on you, it is backfired. What's going on here? See? Blaming. Has no goals. Aimless. Depressed. Thinks they can save this person somehow from destruction. They have this energy doing destructive things. This is a feminine who is very egotistical, very destructive force, and has your person doing destructive things to ruin them for you. Very critical, blamer, thoughtless, I know it all, childish, fake, worried, excessively, very nervous, rigid, and reckless, very gets restless very easily, so that's why this um, karmic is entertaining another person. Hmm. Always worried how they look. Really, really worried about how they look. How they appear to others. Blaming you, blaming other people for their situations that they're in. A hothead. karma. They may have a karmic child with this person. Very unbalanced energy. Con con confrontational power struggles. They've been told to let go. They know they're pissed off because they see you getting a lot of power, building an empire. Well, your person is trying, is in their emotions, their feels, and they're trying to discover the truth. They're like up in their head. They are trying to make some dramatic change. But this other energy keeps <coughs> keeping them stuck all the time. They're starting to, like, unveil things. They've said a prayer or did a spell to help them to see things clearly. That's exactly. I will read you the spell because that came out three times when I did the pre-shuffle. And then it's saying it again here so I know that that is the truth. Bear with me. There it is. <clears throat> As flame, this is a spell to unravel secrets. <clears throat> As flame lights, shadow and truth ends fear. 
open locked secrets to my mind's willing ear. May these words now flow into my counterpart's mind and let them dive in, bringing innermost voices to these cards in speech. So they are definitely trying to unveil these secrets. They are wanting these secrets revealed. They are trying to figure it all out. They could be under a spell of confusion. They are sorry. They are regretful of their actions. I'm telling you that they are. I don't think that anybody would be proud of what they did. They're depressed. They are soul searching. They are trying to unveil what the secrets that need to be seen because there is some kind of they could be in spiritual jail or they're feeling trapped in their mind this karmic is also afraid is really worried that's why they have them doing unhealthy things going through a tower and that's why they're trying to see they're controlling um, yeah they're doing some kind of spell work or counseling to reveal the truth to them somehow they want the truth revealed. They want to free themselves. But there is something amiss here. They want, this feminine wants to be like you, is competing for your role, your position. And they are, see? They still fantasize about you and this connection. They are still connected to you. And is triggering the heck out of this person. They're heavily burdened. And they are so... Look, they're trying to unveil the truth, the secrets. They're trying to figure out what the secrets are because they are very stressed out and worried. Their conscience, they may not be sleeping. Something to do about, oh yeah, see? That's the problem here. They're under spell work, confusion, and they're saying prayers to like unveil this mystery. Why, why am I so confused? Why did I reject my person? Why am I going broke? They're still watching you. Hmm. 
They could be watching you work. They're very depressed. They're trying to figure something out. They're lonely. They're depressed. They feel uh, left out in the cold. They are watching you. They could be driving by your job, your house, your work. Not to snoop on you or anything like that. To make sure you're okay. This karmic is cheating on them. And they regret ever meeting, ever cheating with this karmic. They could be trapped with a karmic child. That's why they went in that direction. They know that this karmic is jealous of you and is trying to keep them from coming toward you. So now this karmic energy got some issue with somebody that they used to be involved with. There could be a jealous ex involved here of the karmics that they were trying to get away from. The father of their child, perhaps. This person is in love with you It's a third party situation. Yeah, there's someone else involved. Yes, there is. Someone who they used to be associated with, married to, or committed to in some way. They're still stuck on this past person. They're still holding on to this past person. Maybe for finances. This is feminine. It's very egotistical. Okay. Yeah, they have a family together. This other lover has a family with someone from their past. But they're still entertaining them. That's the truth. They're still in love with that person. Even though they said they walked away, they're still in love with that person. And they're still screwing them. <laughs> they are. Your person is saying a prayer. Yeah behind this person's back, when their back is turned, they're dealing with this other person who maybe they said they were divorced from or whatever. Third party situation.
it is. Oh my God. So, at some point, this karmic's playing both masculines. They got pregnant by one of the these masculines. But they're being juggled, I'm telling you. They're giving to two. I, I'm just being straight up. And your person is acting like they don't even care. This karmic is made of a bunch of bullshit about their ex. Playing on the emotional heartstrings of this emperor. They're still diddling their ex. Come on. This karmic is coming up with some lame excuse. There's a, That's the secret your person is trying to figure out. That's the secret that they're wishing to unveil. What is this karmic up to? And whose child is it? And who are they diddling? And the stories that the karmic is telling them, they might have told the your person that this ex threatened to kill him and all this bullshit. But they're still screwing them. They, it's karmic told them, oh no, that's over. I ended it with that person. They got pregnant by that person. And that is the secret that your person's trying to figure out. Who, what, where, how, and why. What up? Is this story the truth? Are they trying to escape an ex? Or are they using this child as a hostage? This karmic is making up a story because they're trying to cover up the fact that they were diddling this ex of theirs. They made up a story to your person that, oh, they threatened to kill me. I've got to get away from this person. No, no, we were broke up, blah, blah, blah. They may have helped this feminine escape what they thought 
was a dangerous situation. It's a con, man. They're still diddling the X. Saying I had to escape them. There's something behind that story. And I'm not sure that I give a crap why. But they're up to no good. And the spell work that they have done has backfired on them. So, it made me, I don't know. It could make them love their ex more instead of your person. It may have gone to their ex. Spell work gone wrong. It is indeed. Spell work can be words. Spell work could be manipulations. Spell work can just be about anything. But if they did spell work, it could have made your person want you more. And it could have made their ex w want them more. Or make your person want you more. Stop messing with the spell work. They're not good at it. I'm just saying. They're not good at it. So why are they doing it? It's funny, actually. And now, maybe... This karmic as well may have played your person and told them that they needed to escape from their ex. And your person may have done that. Help them to get away. But it's a cover up. This karmic could be using that child as a financial weapon against their ex and if your person got this karmic pregnant or they think they got this karmic pregnant they're using that child either way their little sick games are all catching up with them They feel like they got an unfair judgment because they think they got to learn your person something, which they don't. And 
and perhaps they're getting judged all the way around from their ex, from their ex's family, your person's family. They put themselves there. And it's up to them to get themselves out of it. This is a real trickster. So they're manipulating your person into playing the damsel in distress. And they're manipulating the last person, pitting them against your person. And they're lying to both. Take care.